Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew, daily events worldwide. And we are on July 17th, 2021. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet and welcome to the Daily Dew, where we look at world weather, earthquakes, volcanoes, and as well, space weather. Everything that is affecting humanity. Looking at the sun the last 48 hours, pretty active indeed. Incoming images, southern region, fiery spot as well along the equator. An earth-facing sunspot that quickly formed. Outgoing images here. Fiery sunspot outgoing there. And then watch right here as this sunspot quickly forms. And then this is our last CME coming from the backside of the sun. There was quite a bit of a plasma ejection. And it may be wrapped up within the coronal hole wind stream. So heads up over the next 24 to 36 hours. No earth facing coronal holes to talk about. Just large plasma filaments and bright regions. Looking here, Lasco 2, this is the last seven days on the sun, as we have had quite an eventful week. Looking at one large CME there, backside. Another one on the backside. And then that huge one on the 15th. And then just today, we had yet another one this morning, backside CME. So very active sun the last seven days, for sure. Lasco 2 showing all of the events here. Luckily, these were not Earth-facing. My, oh my. I want to thank all of the new friends and family members from across the world. Welcome to Morning Dew, daily events worldwide, keeping you aware and prepared. Much love for humanity. Quick look here at the latest CME coming from the sun. Unbelievable. So grateful that was not Earth facing because look at the effect. This is the ISWA space prediction spiral. Large CME blast heading straight at Venus and as well Mars. Parker Solar Probe. Wow. So that little yellow dot, that is us. That is our planet spinning around the sun. So we will have an accelerated coronal hole wind stream that is on its way. Looking at our planetary K index, remains low as well geomagnetic activity. Real-time solar wind, we're looking at about 386 kilometers per second. Steady. Looking at the polarities as well, steady. Schumann resonance for today, a power of 39. Quality of 16. Now let's get to the earthquakes as we have had a pretty busy day looking at 350 earthquakes across the planet. But we're going to start out here through Central America as it has been busy today. 4.4 there recently in Colombia and as well Panama 4.3 just recent but we had a sizable 6.1 reported in Eureka Panama at a 10 kilometer depth large earthquake and as well San Maria and Bay Peru 4.5 looking through the Caribbean plate today the valley seeing a 4.0 41 kilometer depth and as well Puerto Rico 3.2 largest today 101 kilometer depth and the energy is transferred to the Atlantic, 5.3 here, northern mid-Atlantic ridge, 10 kilometer depth. South America, as I said, is busy today. 4.4 there, Bolivia, and as well, San Antonio de los Cobros, all very deep earthquakes before the large 6.1. So many deep earthquakes through South America today. And then the large 6.1, Panama. Looking over United States, minor earthquakes through Texas to report, 3.1 there, Cuyanosa, and as well, White City, New Mexico, some earthquakes coming back to the region. 
Smith Valley is still seeing earthquakes today. The swarm continues there, minor. 3.5, though, the largest to report in the region. As well, 2.7 there, Avalon, off the coast of California, near Los Angeles. And then Yellowstone, Montana, still seeing earthquakes today. 120 just in the past 24 hours. And the energy is already transferred west to Idaho, where I had predicted last night in the video. So looking across USGS in the region here, 131 just in the earthquake swarm through uh, Colville, California, Walker, and Markleyville. That fire continues to grow through the region. And then, yes, look overlooking Yellowstone, just the last 24 hours, looking at 12 inside the lake. So minor swarm continues through Yellowstone Lake, but the energy, as I said, has transferred over into Idaho today, but the largest in the region, 3.5, 3.6, sorry, Mammoth, Wyoming. Quick look over here, USGS, show the minor earthquakes that are already starting through Idaho, 2.8, 2.6. No new explosions to report across the Pacific Northwest. A couple minor earthquakes atop Rainier. And as well, Helens, Mount St. Helens. Surrounding region. Looking over Alaska. Seismicity has decreased a little bit today. Nothing major to report. And then Japan here, 5.2. Originally listed as a 5.7, 56 kilometer depth. And then North Japan here, NAMI Japan 4.4 and as well 4.2. Looking through Indonesia today, so Paso 4.4 and as well a 4.6 to Bilo. Papua New Guinea seeing a 4.8. And as well Tonga region, New Caledonia 4.6, 4.6, 4.8 there, Fiji. And then 5.5 .5 here, Fiji region, 559 kilometer depth, largest and deepest in the region. Largest across the planet is the 6.1. And I'd say way too quiet across the African and into Eurasia plate right now. I'd stay, I would say heads up across Europe right now with all the flooding conditions and as well the atmospheric conditions. Heads up India, China. Europe, Africa. Have a look at the last seven days across the planet. Activity coming back to South America, Central America today. Very deep earthquakes this morning and a large 6.1 residual. And looking across Europe. Quiet. Continual action through West Ring of Fire deep earthquakes there and a constant rumble across the North American plate right now hopefully pressure is being released let's have a look at the Pacific Disaster Center showing the most recent volcanoes getting updated and with all the activity through South America you can imagine most of them will be down in Central America South America many fires here to report we're going to start out Tacono, Indonesia, as well as Nevados de Chilean, Colombia, Reventador in Ecuador. Uh, yeah, Popo in Mexico, Fuego, Guatemala, Nevados de Ruiz, Colombia, Sangue in Ecuador, Sabancaya in Peru, and as well Swiss and Ajima in Japan. So all fitting surrounding the earthquakes across the planet. Having a quick look here over Europe, that low pressure system is still hanging around. Thoughts and prayers going out to everybody across Europe right now, and especially through Germany, parts of Switzerland right now. Devastating situation. I want to thank Loco in the live stream for sharing and emailing me some video footage to share the situation that is developing through Antwerpen and Wharton. This is in Switzerland. 
Look at this. Thoughts and prayers. Devastating situation across Europe right now. Many countries involved in this flooding. Many people displaced. Prayers for humanity. And again, thank you, Loco, for sending those photos and a quick video. Quick look here. Germany before and after. Unbelievable. We'll carry on here. Hopefully this low pressure system eventually decides to move eastward. Looking across North America, still some minor, some fires to report across BC, but we do have a lot of rain moving in, in the long range forecast here. So definitely some relief coming for BC, but no real relief for parts of the Pacific Northwest right now. Remains hot and unbelievable fires still breaking out. If you haven't seen the wildfire report, please check it out. There's a lot that entails. So I'm going to give you minor updates here with the Daily Do, but I'm going to give you a full video update on the wildfire situation showing satellite imagery. So across Canada, right up into Manitoba, we have fires and up northern Ontario. Flooding conditions are coming up across Newark, New York, and as well East, most of the eastern seaboard, the United States, has a long line of moisture and storms are rolling through right now. And as well, watching some very moisturous storms that are moving across Mexico. So in the next few days, watch for videos to come out of a flooding Mexico because it's going to be very intense. Quick overlook here at Felicia. Tropical Storm Felicia is alive still and is a Category 4 today. And the next Tropical Storm that was following has been named now Galerno is alive. Tropical Storm Galerno and is going to be heading same trek pretty much as Felicia. And they're not sure on the forecast just yet. We also have Tropical Depression in Fa, who is going to be heading towards Taiwan now in the long range forecast show you here on Meteor Earth coming up. So Taiwan and China will be expecting tropical depression in Fa. Let's have a look. Five-day forecast brought to you by Daily Events Worldwide and Meteor Earth. Overlooking home base Calgary, Alberta. Some warm conditions until tomorrow, but then cooler moving in by the end of the week. Warm start to the week and then cooling off. And as reported yesterday, most of the moisture is staying northward and as well into eastern parts of North America and as well southeastern parts of the United States. Big low pressure system here coming over Alaska and northern BC. It's going to bring some relief. Looks like rain here over the next four days for parts of northern BC. So hopefully that thwarts the situation. Apparently there are over a thousand fires right now across British Columbia. Overlooking the Atlantic and into Europe. Low pressure system here running into a big high pressure blockade over the UK. Looks like that low pressure system is going to miss. And as well, it looks like this low pressure system over Central Europe will be moving away by Thursday. But heading eastward it's going to continue its force and moisture as well a big low pressure system here over the norways affecting parts of northeastern europe lots of moisture and russia could use some moisture as well because they've got some intense fires across their country as well overlooking southeast asia and the west indies big low pressure system here right into the bay of bengal so Myanmar and parts of India and northern India, Nepal, watch for flooding conditions to continue over the next little while. Insane monsoon rains. Very intense situation that is continuing to develop. Overlooking Australia, watch for the low pressure system here to wet it, head into southwestern parts and as well low pressure leaving the southeast going to bring some cool temps with it. New Zealand 
looking at rain and cold temperatures here over the next few days. Some rain moving into parts of Hawaii for the week. And it looks like these two tropical systems, Felicia here, amazing footage here. Thank you to Rambia. Go satellite imagery overlooking Felicia, a very tightly whipped category four hurricane. Just look at the eye on this storm. Amazing imagery. I'm going to take this moment to thank all of the memberships on the channel. Thank you so much for your contributions and support. And as well to everybody who gives out super chats and donations. God bless you all and thank you so much. This helps continue and further the productions and research on this channel. Morning Dew is here for you. Amazing imagery, eh? Quick look here over the tropical storm. Galerno as well. This is current imagery. So we'll carry on here and it looks like Galerno might roar into a category two. Overlooking Central America, heavy rains through Panama and as well Guatemala northward into Mexico. This long equatorial line of moisture seems to be a little bit lower than it was last year, just saying. Overlooking South America, no major weather systems. Overlooking Africa, you do have a low pressure system that is heading into parts of Egypt and South Sudan. Going to leave you here looking at the southern hemisphere versus the northern Pointing out the vicious low pressure system here, winding up in the long range forecast. And look at the moisture line that stretches across the southern hemisphere. Long atmospheric river encompassing the southern hemisphere right now. Stay tuned to daily events worldwide. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your morning dew. Thanks for watching. Bye bye. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family.